the Princess Kitten Rescue. It's, uh, it's been a really rough night. It's been a really rough morning. Uh, we have lost two of our five kittens. Probably going to lose a third uh, at this point. <sighs> Man, this is this is the part of rescue nobody wants to talk about. Um, you know, when you when you get babies and they get sick, and you've literally done everything humanly possible to do, and you just can't save them. Um, it sucks sucks a lot. You know, I still have two more babies that need me. So, you know, you just kind of have to put your chin up and, uh, and move along. Um, it's just kind of what us rescuers do. Um, it's obscene to no end that people continue to, you know, just, they don't spade and neuter their animals. Um, you know, they drop them off at the pound like they were yesterday's dirty laundry. I just don't, I don't understand that. Um, you know, and then they come to people like us um, that are left to pick up the pieces and do whatever we can do to save these animals and give them a second chance. It's really difficult when it doesn't go the way you want it to go. Um, you know, neonatal rescue is fabulous. I love doing it. Um, and it's great when you have healthy babies. It's actually not very hard when you have healthy babies. It's not a difficult thing to do. Um, you know, I can take care of five kittens that are healthy, wake up every three hours, takes me 15 minutes to go potty, feed them, burp them, put them back to bed, no big deal. Um, you know, we were up to an hour and a half last night, you know, trying to get everybody fed and getting IV fluids pushed in and whatever else it is that we could do to try to make them comfortable and try to help them survive. Um, and when they don't, it sucks because we've done everything we could do and I know that I've done everything that I could do. Um, and it just didn't work. And I'm just really unhappy right now. Um, so I'm literally in my car on my way to PetSmart uh, for my local rescues that I work for to uh, help them clean cages because we kind of have to move it along. It's a never ending story. It just kind of goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, you know, I love rescue and I, I don't see me getting out of rescue, but this right here is the reason why we lose a lot of really good rescuers because their hearts just can't take it. I mean, it's really sad and it never gets easier. Um, you know, anybody tells you it gets easier, they probably need to get out of rescue, for sure. Uh, it doesn't. It's really sad. Um, we're still fighting really hard for the other two. Mama is definitely feeling better, so that's, like, a great thing. I dropped the babies off um, to a fellow rescuer that has mom to see whether or not she would be willing to take these babies back and she did she was amazingly excited to see the babies she went straight to them she's laying down she's cleaning them um, she was just happy to see them she was mewing when she could hear them um, you know the one baby that's sick she's trying very hard to take care of it um, so mom's probably going to come home with me um, even if she doesn't have any milk left she can still keep them warm she can clean them I'll continue to feed them um, whatever it is that we basically need to do, but mom is always best when it's neonate. So anytime I have a chance, um, you know, to put the two back together again, that's what we need to do. Um, you know, I need to step out of that picture whenever I can. So um, that's the update with the with the babies now. These are um, we've named them the friends babies. So right now we still have um, Rachel and we have Jan. We have lost Phoebe. We have lost Ross and Monica. So those are the three that we have we have lost at this at this point. Um, but we still have the two, so we're going to go forward. And they're doing 
a bit better, so I'm very hopeful that putting them back with mom um, will be just what we basically need to get these babies to survive. So that's the update. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't better news. Again, I hate to bring these kind of things to YouTube because no one really wants to hear it. It's super sad. Um, but it's important. I think it's really important that people realize that there is a consequence even if they don't see it. There is a serious consequence to not taking care of your animals properly. Um, spayed and neutering them, keeping them vaccinated, um, dropping them off because you're moving um, and you just can't take them with you anymore or they're inconvenient or whatever the millions of reasons it is that these animals end up in rescue. There are consequences to your actions um, and other people are paying for it. So, you know, if you're not ready for an animal, do us all a favor and don't get one. That's my gripe for today. We'll talk soon and I'll update you with the babies and uh, hopefully get you some pictures of some really cute kitties. Y'all have a blessed day.